Hello. In this podcast, I have Puneet, uh, my friend, as a guest. I've known Puneet for almost a decade, and he is co-founder of several big companies. Uh, one of the company is Program Is, which is uh, one of the largest platform in the world to learn programming language, and they get around 25 million views every month. He's also part of another company called Redoc Nepal and Techcraft. Techcraft is another big company that has been growing exponentially in the last two years. We talked about entrepreneurships, we talked about branding, uh, pivoting from one company to another, and a lot of stuff. I hope that this podcast is going to be a good learning experience for all of you. So, Puneet, like, what's the first study? I mean, I think what came up better than me. Kunir. Kunir, so Malay. That's right. So, Malay, yeah, but I would say, Malay Puneet, like, 2015, ma. First study, they came सालसा Mm. I know, and then we started Blogger Guru. Yep. Yeah, long, long time. Um, so, Punit Koto, I know Pochiko journey, you know, as a Bami Blogger Guru, my associate bio, and he program is Kobari Makura bio, this was he, Redoc Nepal, and LA Tech Craft. So, Tubanda Purano journey, So, why don't you share, like, um, what did you study, where did you study, any? Uh, the journey before you know getting into entrepreneurship sure um so i started my schooling was from galaxy public school gyanesharma and after that i got into st xavier's college and i was a bio group mate i know and i decided this shit is not for me <laughs> so i decided to opt for uh, ioe entrance preparation and i mele prepare gare i cracked it so mele pulchok join gare tya chai computer science ma full scholarship mate but uh, I wanted to try my life outside of Nepal. So I applied to the Indian Embassy to the scholarship. I applied to the crack. I applied to the NIT Kurukshetra in college. I applied to the computer science. Mai. Ani, uh, char barsa, it was very nice living in India. You know, like, India is not one country. So, so many different people from different cultures. Ani, hostel life, mm-hmm. you know, all of that. So uh, I think I grew a lot. In India, this was in college body placement by uh, MAQ software one company. My either about I worked there for six to seven months. Only the I got an offer from uh, one of my alumni, mm-hmm. college, college alumni. He mm-hmm. so one of my batchmates was working with him, and he introduced me. Okay, Punit should join this company one and more. No, it I put seven months. Pussy Chris Analytics one company. My uh. Uh, so, it happened seven months. Kam kare, see, I had to come back to Nepal for personal reasons. And now, Nepal, I said, see, yeah, I started to do it. So, in India, I was here for time time in Nepal. I was here, obviously. I was here for a break. And now, I was here for a while. I was here for a while. I was here for a while. And I was here for a while. I was here for a while. I was here for a while. So, I was here for a while. I was here for a while. I was here for a while. Lintium on the Oswin Kosati runs it, who is the founder of program is so he also used to tag along on it. Tessari Amni Tinjanako Miro runs it song of introduction Tessari boy Oswin Jay Mosanga and Eddie Kurukshetra Kosati on the Oswin runs it same plus two Kosati. So Oswin sort of introduced me to Ranjit. I know on the break my own the Harry Amle song song HTML CSS co training Liam Putal sort of my IT training Nepal one day organizations or training institutes. त्यो गर्दा गर्दै अनि रञ्जित यूज्ड टू टक अबाउट ही वाज इन्स्पायर्ड बाइ अ कमन फ्रेंड सौगात हैन सो लाइक ही वाज इनटू ब्लॉगिंग ही यूज्ड टू राइट अबाउट क्रिकेट सो ही हैड अ ब्लॉग अबाउट क्रिकेट अनि ही यूज्ड टू से यस्तो अनलाइन कन्टेन्ट लेखेर पैसा कमाउन सकिन्छ नि भनेर हैन सो टु थिंग्स ही यूज्ड टू से वन अनलाइन कन्टेन्ट बाट पैसा कमाउन सकिन्छ अर्को चाहिँ यो हामीले जुन पढ्छौ सी सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिङहरु सिक्छौ त्यसको कन्टेन्ट नै नेटमा छैन भनेर भन्थे के उले सो ही हिमसेल्फ वाज डुइङ इन्जिनियरिङ एट पुलचोक and he, he found that he was struggling to find good content. So he used to say, I'm going to make a tutorial website. 
अनि हामीले एउटा डोमेन रेजिस्टर गर्यौ दैट इज लाइक आई वाज इन सेकेन्ड इयर अफ कलेज त्यो बेला हैन एउटा डोमेन रेजिस्टर गर्यौ अनि सुरु गर्यौ तर छुट्टीपछि म र अश्विन वी वेंट ब्याक टु कलेज त्यसपछि वी डिड नट कन्टिन्यू अन दैट अनि इन द मीन टाइम ही वांटेड टु कन्टिन्यू दैट वर्क सो ही रेजिस्टर्ड अनदर डोमेन प्रोग्राम इज डॉट कम अनि ही स्टार्टेड डुइंग दैट व्हाइल इट स्टिल इन कलेज व्हाइल इन थर्ड इयर हैन सो स्टार्टेड विथ सी सी प्रोग्रामिंग को ट्युटोरियल्स लेख्यो अनि दैट इमिडिएटली ब्लू अप किनकि ऑल दो द ट्युटोरियल्स वेर देयर लाइक इट वाज इन यू नो ब्लग स्पट और सम अफ इट वाज इन वन प्लेस सो एकदम स्ट्रक्चर्ड वे में फ्रम स्टार्ट टू फिनीस कसले थे क्या अभी समटाइम्स देर इज वैल्यू इन एडिंग स्ट्रक्चर टू कंटेन्ट दैट्स अलरेडी इन टेन प्लेसेस सो ही जस्ट एडेड दैट स्ट्रक्चर अनि ही मेड इट वेरी फ्रेंडली फर बिगिनर्स आई थिंक द फैक्ट दैट ही हिमसेल्फ वॉज अ बिगिनर हेल्प असले गूगल में रैंक होता के भादा वेन आई केम बैक सो दिस इज वेन लाइक प्रोग्राम इज में पाइथन भी एड भैस अट वॉज डुइंग वेल एज अ ट्युटोरियल वेबसाइट और प्रोग्रामिंग ब्लग है अभी वी वेर लुकिंग एट प्रोग्राम इज एज टैम हेन ओके लाइक दिस गाय रंजित भट्ट हु इज नट इवन अ कंप्यूटर साइंस ग्रेजुएट हि इज एन इलेक्ट्रोनिक्स ग्रेजुएट उसे लाइक सी को एवं कोर्स थी है उसको प्रोग्रामिंग को मे बी फ्यू कोर्सेस होगा तर मोस्टली तो इलेक्ट्रोनिक्स को नन प्रोग्रामिंग कोर्सेस नहीं है सो दिस गाय कैन स्टार्ट अ ब्लग अबाउट प्रोग्रामिंग विच इज नट इज कोर एरिया अफ एक्सपर्टिज एंड मेक यू नो एन अमाउंट पर मंथ रिकरिंग रेवेन्यू विच इज लाइक लैविश एट दैट टाइम ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन तीर है विच इज अ बिग अमाउंट एट दैट टाइम आई कैन सी दैट नंबर इट इट यू वॉज मेकिंग अबाउट टू लैक्स रुपीज पर मंथ फ्रम द वेबसाइट That's a huge amount, ni yeah. for that time. So when college part, even yeah. college part, that part, you know, like crazy amount, you know. So what we decided was, okay, this means that uh, it is, there is if you have good content, there is a way to monetize it. Mm-hmm. One day I'm like clear by saying that. And we thought there are so many youths in Nepal who are struggling with money, who you know, who have talent, who have studied certain some mm-hmm. field of expertise. why don't we create a system where we crowdsource content from people and then we do the marketing seo all of that we make revenue and we share with the creators mm-hmm. so we started a platform called aduro.com and the idea was uh, we would start lots of niche websites find authors for uh, who who could write quality content on those websites and they would write we would edit make it publishable add good quality assets do seo marketing it out is just monetization क्वालिटी चेक्स एंड मोनिटाइजेशन हमें करें अभी वी वुड शेयर द रेवेन्यू अभी हमें तो प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं बिल्ड गये पूरे वेर दे वुड बी डैश बोर्ड्स एंड यू नो अल अफ दैट लाइक अल द कंटेंट वुड कम अदुर डट कम देन वी वुड सेंड इट आउट टू वन अफ दोज ट्वेंटी वन वेबसाइट्स बेस्ड अन विच निश इट वॉज अभी सुरू में वी वॉन्टेड टू मेक इट अ सेल्फ सर्व प्लेटफॉर्म लाइक यू नो एनी बडी कैन साइन अप एंड पब सबमिट कंट कंटेन्ट टाइप को है आफ्टर सम टाइम वी रियलाइज दैट दिस वॉज नट वर्किंग द क्वालिटी वॉज टू लो अनि प्लस सो तो मैं फ्रीलांसर हो उसे कंटेन्ट पठाई रहता है अब इश्यू भाई ना हमें कि उस कति को गाली करने और कति को फिडबैक दिने समटाइम्स अनि प्लस वी कुड नट ट्रेन देम राइट सो फ्रीलांसर कम्स इन मानो उसे दुईटा आर्टिकल लेख्य है अब उस हमें फिडबैक एकदम मेहनत करें उस इंप्रूव गयो वी डोट नो इफ दे आर गोइंग टू राइट मोर आर्टिकल्स राइट है सो एकदम तो एंजाइटी होता हमें सो वी डिसाइडेड ओके before going to this self serve or you know open model let's have writers in the office mm-hmm. so that we know that if you train them the investment will pay off on it and we hired some writers then i think one of our mistakes were we started too broad we did 21 websites i know and so garda 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 we wrote on health we wrote on science we wrote maths you know all of this shit we wrote we like we had a website about green tea we had a website about silajit so गर्दा 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 एवं पॉइंट पीछे वी वेर एट अ पॉइंट वेर इट वॉज लुकिंग ओके लाइक द वेबसाइट्स वेर स्टार्टिंग टू जेनेटर बिट अफ रेवेन्यू है खर्च तो अभियली अफिस को निस्किन थे तर रेवेन्यू जेनेट करो नंबर लाइन लाइन एट हो रेवेन्यू को ग्रोथ को लाइन में एक्सट्रापुलेट कर ओके टू थ्री इयर्स में ठीक हो जो लग्न थाली सकते थे तर लगने तो भाई डिशीजन आ पोइंट में स्टार्टअप में कि लगने करने भाई so we decided not worth it like we can make wo- m- way more money as engineers mm-hmm. working for other companies or you know whatever you know like so should we make money from content creation or as engineers when it decision ma pugyom uh we decided to close that down tyo bela ani 
सो वी वेर आई आई जोइन टप टाइल ते पी बिकज यू नो पैसा तो कमा पर्यटन टप टाइल में सिलेक्ट भैं टप टाइल में काम भी करो तो बेला अभी वी वेर जस्ट यू नो वेट लाइक लेट एवरी वन गो अभी बस रहे अफिस में अंजित सर ने सैड हमी ये शिलाजीत को बारे में क्या लेखी रहते ग्रीन टी को बारे में क्या लेखी रहते हम तो एरिया अफ एक्सपर्टिज ना होना प्रोग्राम इज अजन छीसंग है यू कम इन एज पार्टनर्स हमी इस ग्रो कर सो ही ही मेड दैट अफर टू बोथ मी एंड अश्विन अभी वी वेर अल्सो लाइक या डेफिनेटली हम प्रोग्रामिंग हम डोमेन हो कोर एक्सपर्टिज अफ यू नो एरिया अफ एक्सपर्टिज भी हो हमें यह टू इयर्स अदर जो ट्राई गये तेस में वी नो हाउ कंटेन्ट वर्क्स वी नो हाउ मोनिटाइजेशन वर्क सो वी फील दैट वी कुड कंट्रीब्यूट सो वी डिसाइडेड टू कंटिन्ू विथ प्रोग्राम इज ते पच्ची अ रेस्ट इज हिस्ट्री सो प्रोग्रामिंग जोइन करे कैन यू लाइक शेयर वट वॉज द अर्ली डेज ट्राफिक वेन यू जोइंट बिकज फ्रम द इन्फर्मेशन दैट आई हेव एंड वट यू हेव शेयर विथ मी इट हेज लाइक नॉर्मस एमाउंट अफ ट्राफिक राइट नाउ एंड इज वन अफ द लार्जेस्ट वेबसाइट इन द वर्ल्ड नॉट जस्ट इन नेपाल बट इन द वर्ल्ड वेर पीपल कैन कम एंड लर्न अबाउट प्रोग्रामिंग एंड द लॉर अफ थिंग्स दैट यू हेव डन इन प्रोग्राम इज विल टक अबाउट दैट बट कैन यू लाइक टील वट वॉज द अर्ली डेज लाइक Mm-hmm. and um if you can share any statistics if you have um i don't remember the statistics at that time mm-hmm. uh i think because we had not grown programming so it was still making the same amount that i said before you know uh, monthly tar i don't remember too much it was mm-hmm. a long time ago tar i remember how it was in the early days you know like mm-hmm. three of us nobody else kinaki adro ko team ta 10 10 jana 12 jana jati bhai sakay thyo now there's nobody just three of us yeah no distractions writing content all day from morning to evening right mm-hmm. uh, and what we decided was everybody wants to write about interesting things neither mm-hmm. right know for example everybody wants to write about how to do a project in python at all but nobody wants to do the boring stuff like for example python ma library functions are unsa which mm-hmm. people use right now ab tesko documentation ta kasale garna man lagdaina ni ta and we said we will do the boring boring stuff that nobody wants to do that means it was like take a take one topic and write you know the extensive like official documentation just okay ekdam mm-hmm. the formatted ekdam like okay this does this this does this type of there is no space for opinion i mm-hmm. know it was mind numbingly dull work because mm-hmm. there is no space for creativity there is no space for opinion but we knew that this would rank mm-hmm. so i mean like ke garthyo bhanda he bihana shuru garthyo अभी हम टारगेट होते क्या आज दसवटा पब्लिश कर पांचवटा पब्लिश कर छवटा पब्लिश कर डैंग 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 सो रंजित की बोर्ड रिसर्च कर दिन्थ्यो अभी हमी तीनजान का काम कंटेन्ट लेखने मत तो गये हमने कई टाइमसम ते ट्राफिक वाइल्ड ग्रो भो है ट्युटोरियस अलरेडी थी तो डकुमेंटेशन एड करे चाहे एकदम ट्राफिक ग्रो भो अब आई थिंक लड अफ ट्राफिक कम्स टू दोज आर्टिकल स्टिल है सो या देर इज देर इज अ लड अफ ग्रोथ to be done in boring stuff yeah everybody wants to be you know ai bitcoin this that blockchain it out you know also even the world like kati dhere basic content ra basic software chai ra cha which nobody wants to build mm-hmm. because it is boring you know so uh, i think program is proof that boring industry like matcha le run gare bhane matcha le value garra ke value tapai le dinu bhane right? there is money to be made and there is and and there's help to be given to people you right? know so, right Yeah. Right. I remember uh, I think it was 2015 probably you know, or 2016 where we were having this our blogger meet up and um, at that point of time you had shared um, some information about programmers and the programming had uh, programmers had grown to a higher level mm-hmm. and uh, I th- I think that was a time where you were contemplating whether to sell it because I think you also had acquisition offers um and probably this the even the growth was stagnant i believe yep. um but you you made some changes on the website and i think the way you have grown program is now is has been inspiration for a lot of people even for me uh, i know like for our friends like a lot of people are inspired by that i want to know that stage where you, it was stagnant mm-hmm. and how did you transition and what is your thought process like and how did you grow uh, program is Right. to what it is right now so yeah there was a point where you know like uh, because i said right we were, we were doing boring stuff yeah and uh, we tried to make it interesting and like for example we lived in uh, thailand for a month mm-hmm. we would wake up at 2 2 pm 
and you know write content till night mm-hmm. and then like we tried to make it interesting because the work was obviously sometimes it felt dull i know because we were doing the library documentation kind of work so um this was only after some time you know it got repetitive and when the acquisition offer came we were like okay uh, let's do something else let's sell this off and do something else one baat yo and then the number money go shit for and acquisition offer ma only two things i think uh the kinne company le ek ta they wanted us on board even after like it was not a like pure hand off sort of mm-hmm. okay okay you now own program is tata bye bye type ko the no they wanted us to be on board and arko kuro chai arko kuro chai i think tyo ani tyo stall bhayo hena like they were committed sort of the long huncha the conversation ani garda 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 ani म चाहिँ फेरि अब व्हाट नेक्स्ट भन्ने प्लानिङ गर्न थालिसके थिएँ अब यो बेच्ने भएको छ अनि मैले आई एड स्टार्टेड जोइन्ड रिडक्ट भिडियो एन अदर कम्पनी दैट गेम मी एन अफर अनि आई जस्ट जोइन द म्याज एन इन्जिनियर बिकज यू नो लाइक कन्टेन्ट गर्दा गर्दा आई अल्सो वान्टेड टू इम्प्रुव माई इन्जिनियरिङ चप्स आई फेल्ट लाइक आई वज थ्री इयर्स बिहाइन्ड द लेटेस्ट इन्जिनियर्स हु आर कमिंग आउट अफ कलेज सो त्यो तीन वर्षको त्यो कभर गर्नु थियो मलाई होइन अनि फेरि त्यो तीन वर्षमा लाइक अ लड अफ न्यू फ्रन्ट एन्ड टेक्नोलोजिज हट कम आउट क्या लाइक आई वज इचिङ टू यु नो गो ब्याक इन टू कोडिङ होइन सो मैं जोइन कर दैट डील अल्सो यू नो गट स्टल फर सम विक्स और मंथ्स अभी बेला आई थिंक रंजित रश्मिन के भादा यो हमें प्रोग्राम इज बनाए है आई थिंक द टाइम गैप ले स्टार्टेड फिलिंग आई थिंक दे स्टार्टेड फिलिंग कि यू नो प्रोग्राम इज कैनट बी वैल्युड सो लो लाइक दिस इज एन अमेजिंग वेबसाइट इट कैन ग्रो भाई सो वी सेट लेट्स बिल्ड एन एप लेट्स गो सब्सक्रिप्शन वी कैनट बी डुइंग एड रेवेन्यू इट्स इट्स गट इन अ बिट डल अभी पारल में हमें मोबाइल एप बिल्ड कर सो दैट इज हाउ इट स्टार्टेड अभी देन यू नो तो अफर भी हमें तीत वास्ता करेन बट या सो दैट इज हाउ यू वेन्ट इन टू सब्सक्रिप्शन आई फाउंड दैट बिड इंट्रेस्टिंग के तुम्हें विद इंसर्ट अफ गोइंग ऑन द वे यू वेन्ट फर मोबाइल एप्स एंड द रिजन इज मोस्ट पीपल लर्न प्रोग्राम इज अन द डेस्कटप अभी मैं काम कर डेस्कटप खोले बिज इट्स इजीयर प्रोग्रामिंग में तो प्रोग्रामिंग कर कोड चलाने पर्स है बट इट वॉज इंट्रेस्टिंग मूव दैट यू इन टू मोबाइल एंड यू बिल्ड मोबाइल एप्स एंड आई थिंक दे हेव लाइक सेवर हंड्रेड डाउनलोड्स सब मोबाइल एप्स ओके हाउ मेनी लाइक वट इज द टोटल नंबर डू रिमेम्बर आई डोट रिमेम्बर बट लास्ट टाइम वी हेड डिस्कस्ड इट वॉज मल्टीपल हंड्रेड थाउजेंड वाई डिड यू गाइज मेक द डिशीजन वन and um, was the decision good in terms of let's say the revenue or diversification of your um and you know, platforms mm-hmm. where people can discover you in hindsight it was not the best decision mm-hmm. i think we should have built the web version at that time mm-hmm. but i think the rational was not bad you know mm-hmm. rational was nepal bada business garna kati garo chhe tima thane chha haina ani payment issues how to receive payment eta uti duniya lafda chha haina so one of the motivations was app store ma halde bhani you don't need to take care of payments ani arko kuro chai mobile ma i think we wanted to try the limited interface nai ke like we sort of took it as a challenge bhani ke can programming be really taught on mobile phones bhani ke we just took it as a challenge tara main reason chai i think I don't remember too much. It was a long time ago. But one of the main reasons was how we are not going to like it. Will be it should be easy to pay. Mm-hmm. One day, netio mobile matcha sozi loan sa one netio. Yeah, okay. Comparatively, okay. and then after you build mobile apps, you also started YouTube channel, right? And yep. I think a lot of companies uh, don't do that. And from what you had shared uh, with me, you invested extensive amount of money on YouTube channels. Like the quality of yep. the videos were like really good. Uh, they were shot in studio and you were producing very high quality uh, content and giving for free you know mm-hmm. so uh, you know you have invested a lot of money on youtube content walk me through like what was the thought process like why did you get into it mm-hmm. and how it has benefited going to youtube and using it as a marketing channel mm-hmm. so when you know we did not get the results we expected from the mobile app mm-hmm. Uh, one thing we realized was uh, that when you build a blog mm. or a tutorials website and you make money from ads mm. you don't need a brand as long as you can do you know your page pages can rank on google as long as you can get traffic to your website you can make money right na especially if you have us traffic or you know like traffic on the western side of the world right na but if if someone is going to but but the content is free yeah. so you so 
the the user is paying through his impression of of the ads right you know so this my brand team la chaida chaidaina tara we realize that if someone is going to put in the credit card or pay money to you then brand is important mm-hmm. because trust is important you know and brand lene trust le aune ho ta why do we bra- buy from big brands mm-hmm. because there is an inherent trust ki etro thulo brand le ta mala dhoka na dela jun hudaina dhoka dinchan tara you know there is a sense of safety when we buy from a big brand right, right. प्रोग्राम इज में प्रब्लम के भैदे भादा खेल अल आवर कंटेन्ट वॉज फ्रम एसिओ अल आवर ट्राफिक वॉज फ्रम एसिओ अट्स वे पीपल सर्ट अफ वेगली रिमेम्बर द वेबसाइट तर दे डिड नट रिमेम्बर प्रोग्राम इज है अभी प्रोग्राम इज सो नाम भी चिना छेन अर्क कुरो द कंपनी होल कंपनी वॉज फेसलेस इन द सेंस वॉज ओके हू इज रनिंग प्रोग्राम इज नो बड़ी नोज है तो बेला मैं लिंकटिन में एक्टिव थे सो वी रियलाइज कि द कंपनी निड्स अ फेस नाउ द आइडियल सिनारी वॉज आई डी नट वॉन्ट टू गेट इन्वल्व है सो फर अलमोस्ट अ इयर वी इंटरव्यूड अ लॉट अफ पीपल द फेस डिड नट निड टू बी मी अफकोर्स बट वी ट्राई टू गेट समन हू डू द ट्यूटोरियल सो वी डिसाइड ऑन लेट्स गो लेट्स मेक अ यूट्यूब चैनल सो दैट पीपल फील दैट पीपल एसोसिएट गुड कंटेन्ट विथ प्रोग्राम इज दैट वॉज द रिजन वी इन्वेस्टेड हेविली बिकज we wanted to show that you know we can we can do like face poco content as good as text content mm-hmm. and it's a different skill right okay mm-hmm. like video is hard video is super hard yeah comparatively i right? can tell because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are vulnerable you know in a video like in the yeah. text you are hiding behind the screen if you're yeah. writing text content in a video your emotions your uh, confidence everything is on public display right so uh, we try to find someone a problem ke wo na hari if you are doing like भिडियो में एकदम कैटेगराइजेशन हो इफ यूर डुइंग लाइक टिकटक यू वांट समवन हु इज कन्फिडेन्ट हु इज ओके विथ बिइंग अन कैमरा हु एज अ नाइस स्माइल यू नो हु एज अ नाइस वोइस ये होते हैं तर दिस इज नट लाइक रैंडम कंटेन्ट दिस इज ट्यूटोरियल्स राइट सो द पर्सन हु डिड द ट्यूटोरियल्स और आर होस्ट आइडियल होस्ट वुड हैव टू बी टेक्निकली साउंड वुड हैव नीड टू हैव गुड इंग्लिश बिकज वी आर गोइंग टू डू इट फर अ ग्लोबल अडियंस एंड दे हैव टू बी कन्फिडेन्ट इन फ्रम द कैमरा we interviewed a lot of people we did uh, sample videos with a lot of people the three time mate yo ta ma khas kinu so we found people who were very confident in front of the camera who had good english who knew programming tara problem ke huncha bhandari even basic kura timle sikhaun jasto timle mana marketing padhayo bhane haina timile padhaunu ra euta bharkha bharkha marketing alili gareko manche le padhaunu ma even if you're teaching the basic the depth of how you teach the basics is different ni ta so kata ne kata वी वर नट फिलिंग राइट अनि एकदम राम इंट्रेस्टिंग स्टोरी सो के हम नलेज सेयरिंग सेंसन्स भे क्या विकली अट दैट वॉज अ टाइम वेन वी वर स्ट्रगलिंग विथ द होस्ट है अभी मैं चाहे स्टैंडर्ड डिविएसन को मैं नरे नलेज सेयरिंग सेंसन अफिस में देखे थे व्हाइट बोर्ड में नो प्रेजेंटेशन जस्ट दिस इज वट स्टैंडर्ड डिविएसन इज हाउ इट वर्क्स एंड वेर इट इज यूज इन रियल लाइफ वाइना and at the end of that session like our chief designer series is ye banega hamara host <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so like mala emotionally blackmail garo punit toile nai garnu parcha bhanera they put me in a corner ani i was uh, you know hesitant at first then but i i said if i don't do it this is going to be stuck Mm-hmm. and and you know the growth of program is is going to be stuck when you feel bad ani feri all at the time i was doing toastmasters all of that so i i was also feeling confident ki i can do it one mm-hmm. i did not realize that public speaking is very different from this camera stuff mm-hmm. like it was a shocker for me how different it was mm-hmm. cuz public speaking ma you're like your eyes are you're supposed to look around the room aina ani you video ma if you're speaking straight to the camera you you're supposed to look straight into the camera always while being engaging at all the you know so yeah. it it was a different experience it was fun and the market responded well i think the number of subscribers we have the number of views we have uh, and i think uh, beyond just people liking the content a lot of people from the comments we could see i've been using the program is website for a long time so the, the comments really gave validation to the brand mm. which we which exactly we were looking for right mm. so if some anybody does research about me or program is they find and they look at all those good comments and then it gives a sense of confidence that uh to i think the youtube channel did two things for us one it gave the confidence that we can get out of this comfort zone of be, being behind the screen and being anonymous mm-hmm. into something okay this is the person who is doing it right 
or ko chai we can take a different medium and excel in it bhane si we understand content at a deeper level bhane confidence pani aayo ani ar ko chai jun validity jun comments ma cha ni sort of programis.com ma ta so many people are watching our tutorials but there is no section where uh, the the feedback is public right at youtube in youtube the benefit is the feedback is very public comments are feedback aina right? mm-hmm. and overwhelmingly the comments are very positive not just for the youtube channel but for the website for the platform overall uh and but we realized uh, you know that was not going to be sustainable cuz uh how do we find another punit <laughs> right <laughs> and my time was being uh, after the corona was over i had to do other stuff so for now video is deprioritized but mm. not that that chapter is not over i think mm. we will revive it sometime in the future again so it was a great decision to get into video yeah definitely okay. 100% so when when something is major when you're starting something that would require enormous amount of time uh what entrepreneurs do it mostly is they find somebody and they delegate if they were to engage in that uh, they have to spend significant amount of time and like you spend a significant amount yep. of time in what scenario you felt that it was okay to do it in what scenario would you felt that it was maybe you should transfer this to somebody else mm-hmm. because now you have transferred that you, you are not into the videos yep. now you have somebody else to take care of it yep so what is your thought process like when when you did that mm, i think if if so any new project starts with uncertainty and you know, how is mm-hmm. it going to go how are you going to start i think if there's a lot of uncertainty then the founder should get involved mm-hmm. and then because so because at the beginning so many things were not clear how is the studio going to look like how the angle is going to look like how the tutorials are going to be how we are going to you know do the scripting so so many things were not clear but after i had done the python tutorials so many things were clear so i think that is the point where i feel that you can start handing over to uh, other people mm-hmm. and this is i think uh, so i think about this a lot i know a lot of i've written about it on my linkedin as well a lot of founders they they secretly want to automate everything yeah uh and, and then they start saying you know oh, i wish i could automate i wish i was not needed and you know like um uh, i think that's a very bad attitude to have your company will always need you always want you and i think it's your baby i think you should never feel that you know everything needs to be automated what will you do if your life is automated or your job is automated or your company is automated right so i think there should be a love for the company that comes from inside that you know okay i will keep on participating in this exercise as long as i live or as long as i exist with the company there will be some part of the company that will that should need me or that should grow with me or you know that i should add some uh, juice to the company bhanne chai hunu parcha jasto lagcha ani i think the founder should lead risky projects mm-hmm. you know i like uh, i like a statement by dharmesha a co-founder of hopspot he says the primary job of a founder is to inject risk into the company mm so managers employees everybody they want to be comfortable mm-hmm. you know it should be the founder who should be doing utpatang kaam ke <laughs> like mm-hmm. uh if the founder is not doing utpatang kaam like you know if the the founder is not misunderstood inside the company maybe they are not taking enough risk you know mm-hmm. uh take mark zuckerberg with the metaverse you know nobody understands what he is doing mm-hmm. take uh elon musk with x you know like यो मान्छे त पागल छ भन्छ नि त राइट सो एक लेभलमा त्यो पागलपन ल्याउने मेन्टेन गरिराख्ने काम फाउन्डरको के क्रेजी स्टफ लाइक वी आई क्यान आई विल नट लेट यू बिकम कम्फर्टेबल भन्ने काम काम अनि अनि वेन यू से दैट यू वान्ट टू अटोमेट योर बिजनेस यू आर सेइंग त्यो पागलपन अरू कहाँबाट आउँछ त अनि राइट हु विल ब्रिङ द्याट कि त तिमी आफ्नो टप परफर्मिङ एम्प्लोइजलाई स्टेक दिएर यु नो गिभ देम द इन्सेन्टिभ टू टेक द्याट रोल अब तिमी हामी नेपालमा स्टेक पनि दिँदैनौँ and how do you expect so i think the pagal panchay i will keep on bringing to program is to redux to every company i work with mm-hmm. and i in, i i enjoy doing that like i don't want to automate my business in that sense okay you brought two interesting thing one is automations another is um founder focusing on risky projects i remember i think it was on neil uh, vanilla card who told me about uh, how the founder of cloud factory mark Uh, used to work 
And if I remember this correctly, what you had shared with me is, was that you would work on a certain, let's say, um, department, and you'd get deep into it, make sure it is functioning very well, and then automate it, and then move on to another. So let's say he would go into this engineering. Yep. Then you'd go into marketing and sales, and eventually move on to something else. And uh, from what you shared about the YouTube channel was that you got into it, you made sure that everything was working, and you had a good understanding of how it should be. Yep. Um, and then after you have learned everything, you transition that to somebody else so that now it can be easily executed without much of the, the risk. The unknowns are known. Right, right. Yeah, right. But eventually, in order to scale or in order to work on the business, not in the business, so work on the business, automations would be important, right? The dele automation or let's say delegation, mm -hmm. right? You feel, feel that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. But, but you mentioned in order to scale, right? Mm. First of all, uh, scale is not compulsory. Okay. Like if you are happy running a five person or ten percent business, mm. completely fine. So mm. let's not put any pressure in terms of, oh, you know, if you're not growing, you're not growing, or or you should scale. Every business should scale, and all that's that's all bullshit, right? Okay. Uh, a lot of people are happy running five percent businesses, or small businesses, and small businesses contribute a lot to the revenue. So I think we should be very careful when we say that we should scale one. No, let's say grow. Not no, not even okay. grow. Like okay. some people are totally happy running things as they are, right? So uh, it's okay to not want to grow. Now, in the case that you want to grow and there is scope for growth, then yes, you need a team. But again, you don't need a large team. I think this is also a myth that's uh, very popular. A lot of people ask me, topic of company, they equate it with scale, right? And the program is, until just like two years back, I mean, 10 years ago, I was growing 40 people, but you know, like, you don't need a lot of people. I mean, yeah. there's lots of examples where 10 people, 15 people have created billion dollar companies. Right? Yeah. So, Nepal, my open mindset is wrong, okay, that you need a lot of people. Yeah. Outsourcing, when you're, when you're selling headcount, yes, you need yeah. a lot of people. But product, it doesn't matter if one person built it or 10 people built it. Right? Right. As long as someone is ready to pay for it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, as far as delegation, the original question is concerned. Uh, Yes, we started delegate Gorda Janu Parsa. I really liked, I think I'm doing a lot of what uh, Mark Sears did with Cloud Factory. Mm -hmm. My biggest problem at program is sales. Mm -hmm. So I feel not like it. Landing pages, like I'm overseeing that part of the business because the product part of the business uh, is taken care of by, you know, better people than me. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, there is a gap in the founder, yeah. uh, which is true. And I think, I still remember a conversation I was having with someone and they were saying, oh, Puneet, you know, like, I have a skill set, I have a lot of tech, I have a lot of marketing, I have a lot of like, video, I have a lot of ready, I have a lot of company, I have a lot of company, I have a lot of company. The fact that he was impressed with something that every founder should do, uh, it's so sad that mm -hmm. we don't have founders who are willing to do that. I know young mm -hmm. Nepal go tech founders are saying, tech nahi garsu. Mm -hmm. bossan, and they are not able to sell. They build great products, mm -hmm. but they, they don't know how to sell. And they are not willing to shed the skin of a techie and, you know, go into marketing or sales or or build their brand or wh whatever. Like, company like Jai Chai Garnu Pare. At whatever stage you are in, topic of company like Jai Chai Garnu Pare. You cannot say ki mero yo role hai na, ma gardi na vanna paare. Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly, what you did on the YouTube platform, that eventually converted into a product later on. Right? Yep. So, you, um, so you, you started with website, then you went to app, then you went to YouTube. Interesting thing I observed about YouTube was, I've noticed that people learn complex things, let's say like building websites on two platforms. One was through um, tutorials, which is on, let's say, website. Second was YouTube. And YouTube was getting popular. Yep. And even when I was learning programming or even marketing in, in, in initial days, I used to go for video tutorial. And uh, probably I think that worked very well for you because your YouTube channel grew exponentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think more than 100K subscribers. Yep. That was like several months back. Only 125K. That's amazing. You know? so, so after you had this experience of creating YouTube videos, you created Programmies Pro. Yep. You know? 
Uh, and that was like the paid subscription because like you said earlier, you need to figure out how to monetize uh, the, the content, yep. right? So walk me through that, like how, what is your initial thoughts and um, what, like you, Ranjit and Ashwin were thinking when you decided like, yeah. okay, we need to get into a SaaS product on the program is and um, how did you get into that? So we were already in SaaS with mm. the mobile app and it was making okay revenue. But we realized that, you know, okay, okay, now we can do another app for another language, another app for another language, you know. So how do we uh, go vertical mm-hmm. in the sense that, okay, we have taught Python, now we want to teach data science, or now we want to teach machine learning. You know? so, it's, uh, so we realized that on the mobile, the uh, aspect ratio of the mobile phone, uh, that was not going to be possible. So we felt stuck, you know, because of the size of the device. And this was he, uh, we realized that web ma jane parsa bhanne realize bhayo arko kuro chai but web ma pani video pani garna sakinchha you know like web bhitra pani ta there are so many options haina mm-hmm. ani we said no video cuz uh, obviously because of our beautiful government mm-hmm. nepal uh, we cannot legally hire people from outside mm-hmm. you know and it's, it's a pain to pay people outside so uh, nepal mai video ma auna ready technically confident you know, the combination, we had already struggled with YouTube. So we said, we are not going to do video. Yeah. Uh, we are going to be anti-video. Mm. So, uh, which was also the case with the mobile app. There was no video, there was no interactive experience. So we said, let's just take this interactive experience to the web, mm-hmm. make it more accessible. Uh, one of the big issues with the team that we already identified. In programmers.com, we desktop ma maximum viewers. And we were sending them to a mobile app. Mm. So, People are watching our content on probably a laptop, mm. but we are asking them to download a mobile app. There are two devices involved, there is friction. With the web, the benefit was they are already on the device on which they can purchase our mm. product. Right? Less friction. Uh, less friction. And mm. now we are not limited. Now, I will say basics content, body guard, more interview questions, the job, the job. Job preparation is a big deal. So, there is a lot of advanced content because it's a web-based platform. So, yeah, turns out it was a good decision. And what is the mobile app? It's a good thing. I think every platform we have entered, it has given uh, us a new kind of confidence. Mm-hmm. Mobile app has two confidence. One, we can build beautiful user interfaces, be mm-hmm. beautiful user experiences. Because the feedback, you know, the reviews, ratings were like crazy. Yeah. Right? The website is really nice. Uh, even the app. Yeah. So actually we revamped the website after we built the app. Yeah. I remember when when your new website was live and the logo was live and we sh- you shared in the group. Like everybody was so impressed with the quality of the design. Like like good, good work. Really yeah, good and work. there's an obsession for quality, you know, yeah. and sometimes it even stops us, like, the queue is never ends, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it sometimes yeah. even stops releases, and sometimes it's frustrating, but when we get the kind of feedback we get mm. after those things go live, it's like, okay, because, you know, Nepal, you is the quality of product. I have a man, I have a lot of money. 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 Mm-hmm. So the expectations are low. Ani, mm-hmm. um, I think manpower, I have a lot of money. I have a lot of money. And so uh, your expectations are defined by your environment. Mm-hmm. Ani, when you see, like, we go through broken roads, electricity cables, problem from morning to day. The service kind of service you get from government agencies, any private business you visit, banks, it's all the manse ko service ko expectation, quality ko expectation low nahi boi sakay on sakay. And I think when you have such low expectations, and we, now you you're getting not getting service, any service from anywhere, right? Now from mm-hmm. the government, from private business, it's all the topic expectation low sa. Now you're being asked, the same person is being asked to create a perfect experience. To jump the ekdom thulo banda. That's the biggest problem in Nepal. They are not used to high levels of service, high levels of quality. But now, we are ex- now they are expected to deliver high levels of quality. Right? Uh, so yeah, it's mm-hmm. I also think it's an opportunity for a lot of people to get to work in such an environment. Like Hamra Mapani, like we, we do mostly WordPress products and uh, not services. 
and most of the user that we have is from around the world. And like same stuff, like you got to make sure that you have a great user experience, small, small details like designs, yeah. the support and so on. And finding resources can be challenging, but at the same time, when people work on this kind of product, what I've realized is they actually enjoy and there has been a good learning experience for a lot of people that I have yep. worked with. So I think it, it, it might be good for retention, I guess. It is good for retention, and I think retention is good yeah. at all my companies. Yeah. You know? uh, and program is my specialty, retention is really good mm -hmm. uh, because, again, people feel that they're part of a mission. After program is a lot of especially after YouTube, we have a lot of events that sponsor like A lot of people realized in those two, three years, oh, damn, program is a Nepali company. I use it every day, use it on website. Ta. Nepali company raisa one ratio job with a wave any or two in Bursa, like yeah. mobile LinkedIn my active on Thale. The mm. Sopi Songa Banta, and it's suddenly like mass realization boy, okay, oh, program is a Nepali company one or a foil you, you know. Only two foil a posita, I'm like dumb sozilo basa, poilers are adding my dumb garo at you. There was there's an incident where we wanted to hire a project manager, and he was okay at out the. And he, he did not join because his family said, don't join a small company. <laughs> that pissed us off like big time. Like, I mm -hmm. the branding sending, the locus must sponsor the events. Because we are, you know, building a global empire from Nepal and he, someone doesn't join us because their family says, don't join a small company. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just, you know, not done when they realize why I'm like, so branding is not done. Like, mm -hmm. you cannot just say ki, uh, Manchiaru, a mirror platform to global or Malay Nepal, Malay involvement, ne, God knows, hine, taoti, oh. If the people who are going to build this platform are going to be Nepalese, thanks to the Nepalese government, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going to be limited in uh, the people who can work on your platform, mm. then they need to feel, you need to create a workspace where people feel that, okay, after I graduate, you know, your company ma kam gonna pay them, I think right. programmers wants to be that company in the sense ki, Pulchok ma padne or kune engineering college ma padne ma chale chay. Yar program is ma kam gona paide ta wild maza ho the bani. Orda tio feeling create gona paaye bani chay maza ho sa That would be a success for me. Aile program is ko traffic ko thisa like can you share? Aile eight to nine million users sa which accounts for like which is twenty five million views page views per month. Twenty five million. That's like two point five crore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like <laughs> huge. It's yeah. almost like like almost one million traffic of uh, uh, views a, a day. Yeah, yeah almost. That's, uh. that's crazy. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I would say like you move into this uh, SaaS, right? And is the SaaS right now just text based? Or have you got like included video as well? No, we're not do vi doing video. There are text like that. I'm like, what's deliver? Just to... Programmies.com, I'm like, I'm going to discuss this. Okay, Programmies.com is already free my tutorials. Mm. I'm like, if you free my power, we are asking people to pay for this. So mm. there has to be something different. Yeah. I'm like, Programmies.com, YouTube, I'm like, free content, thiyo, and even app, I'm like, I'm like, competitor, I'm like, I'm like, strategy. Banaya, we realized that what are the issues with this mm. free? Hai na? Number one, I think biggest issue is proof. What is the proof that you have learned? Yeah. I know. The validation. Validation. Yeah. So day one, we were like, there has to be a certification. Mm -hmm. And that certification should not be easy. Like, like it should be like, okay, if someone comes to you with a programming certification, you should be like, let's go see the interview. Let's go the return round. So mm -hmm. that was very, one, one thing was very clear. Another, um, it had to be uh, interactive. I know, so not just, you know, so with programmies.com, the website, the problem is that it's one way. Yeah. Someone comes to the website, uh, they do not interact with the website in, in terms of they'll only scroll, maybe run the code, copy some code and leave. I know. Mm -hmm. So it's not two way. So it had to be the person typing code into the platform mm -hmm. or giving inputs to the platform. So that had to be there. Or it has it had to have, uh, you know, challenges. Uh, challenges had already been introduced on the app. They were extremely popular. So we knew that this component had to come, had to be ported to the web version as well. 
अनि क्विजेस पनि अलरेडी एपमा थियो सो वी न्यू दैट वी वी वर गोइंग टू इंटीग्रेट क्विजेस सो वी वांटेड टू क्रिएट दिस लूप अफ लर्न टेस्ट लर्न टेस्ट लर्न टेस्ट लर्न टेस्ट के विथ प्रोग्रामिजमा चाहिँ इट्स अबाउट लर्न 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 युट्युबमा पनि इट्स लर्न 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 यसमा चाहिँ लर्न टेस्ट युअर सेल्फ लर्न टेस्ट युअर सेल्फ लर्न टेस्ट युअर सेल्फ अनि इफ यू आर एबल टू कम्प्लिट एभ्रीथिङ देन यू गेट अ सर्टिफिकेसन दैट एनी एन्ड आई थिङ्क सर्टिफिकेसन इज नट जस्ट अ पिस अफ पेपर दैट यू क्यान टेक टु एन इन्टरभ्यू के इट्स अल्सो अ लर्ड अफ प्रोग्रामर्स फेस एन इस्यू वेर दे फिल दैट दे आर नट गुड इनफ टू एप्लाई फर बिग कम्पनीज होइन देन सो दे विल सेल्फ के भन्छ नि सेल्फ क्यान्सलेसन क्या लाइक दे दे विल नट एप्लाई एट अल होइन तर जस्ट ह्याभिङ दट सर्टिफिकेसन क्यान गिभ यू सच अ कन्फिडेन्स कि ओ आई ह्याभ दिस सर्टिफिकेसन आई ह्याभ कम्प्लिटेड अल दिस च्यालेन्जेस यु नो एन्ड इट वाज नट इजी सो आई क्यान डू इट भन्ने एउटा कन्फिडेन्स पनि हो त्यो पेपर होइन डिग्री पनि त त्यही त हो नि इट्स नट जस्ट अ पिस अफ पेपर बट इट्स अल्सो कन्फिडेन्स सो या एन्ड एन्ड पिपल आर लभिङ इट अहिलेसम्म चाहिँ राम्रै छ ग्रोथ अब चाहिँ अब चाहिँ हामीले प्रोग्रामिज फर टिम्स भन्ने प्रडक्ट बनाएको छौँ सो सेलिङ डाइरेक्टली टू कम्पनिज त्यसमा चाहिँ यू क्यान अल्सो ट्र्याक पिपल लाइक ट्र्याक नट इन द सेन्स अफ यु नो ट्र्याक वट दे आर डुइङ बट फर इक्जाम्पल हायरिङ अन बोर्डिङको केस भयो होइन युज केस भयो कि यू ह्याभ अ बन्च अफ लाइक यू ह्याभ टेन पाइथन प्रोग्रामर्स हु हेभ बिन हायर अब उनीहरूलाई पाइथन उनीहरूले जति छिटो सिक्यो त्यति तपाईँलाई फाइदा हो किनकि एज दे द फास्टर दे लर्न पाइथन द फास्टर यू आर एबल टू इन्क्लुड दम इन द प्रोजेक्ट्स क्लाइन्ट प्रोजेक्ट्स एन्ड मेक मनी नाउ व्हाट इफ दैट टाइम कुड बी रिड्युस फ्रम टू मन्थ्स टू वान मन्थ That's one month salary saving for every Python developer you've hired. Right? Yeah. That is what we want to do. So the workflow is people come in, buy a team's license. Mm-hmm. So you buy 10 licenses, give it to those 10 people, assign mm-hmm. them a due date of one month. And you don't get to the next stage until you, you know, complete the certification. Yeah. Yeah. You have to do it. 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 Oh, so we just want to take that worry out of the process. Mm-hmm. So you went to B2, uh, B2C and direct consumer. Yeah. Now then uh, uh, you went to B2B, right? So early, recently you went to even Philippines and yeah. met the client whom you had sold. Okay, very interesting thing is happening here. So most people, when they have a blog and they have a lot of traffic, they stick with that, they monetize that and leave it to that. Yeah. You went ahead, you built an app, and then you didn't stop there. You monetize it. Then you created a YouTube channel. Then from then, you created a SaaS product, uh, which was B2C. Uh, Now then you created B2B, right? So uh, what were your strategy in different phases of this to acquire customers? Mm-hmm. Um, and like, why did you, you know, like, What did you try to divert so much and build around a lot of lot of uh, tools around it to acquire customer? One thing I forgot to mention was that you had also built a lot of um, compilers, right? Yeah, and that also, compilers. yeah, like a lot of compilers. And they were also one of your good strategy to acquire extensive amount of customers, yep. right? Even now, uh, most of our traffic comes from the compilers now. Right. So walk me through like how you were acquiring customer, not just for your blog, but also for your SaaS products, let's say you for YouTube and the mobile apps. And which one is a priority right now? Mm, okay, so programmings.com, it was just SEO, yeah. nothing else. Good quality content, good content structure, good user experience, good design, and SEO. You know? yeah. Simple method. App ko lai chai, it was a combination. So it was app store optimi- a bit of app store optimization. Uh, we named the, we did not call it programmings. We said learn Python, learn C, learn Java. So we built multiple apps. And that was for SEO? Like app store optimization oh, yes yeah, okay. uh, because people will search like learn python and yeah. all that you know uh, and plus we also send traffic from programmers to those apps you know youtube chai hamle youtube videos alai programmers ma embed gardyau website mai jasto for loop ko video lai for loop kai tutorial ma embed gardyau so relevant traffic jane nai bhayo tyaha bada pani haina प्रोग्रामिज प्रो त स्योर सर्ट सक्सेस नहीं थी इन टर्म्स अफ लाइक इफ वी न्यू दैट इफ यू टू बिल्ड द प्रडक्ट सेल तो हो क्योंकि प्रोग्रामिज डट कम को तेत्रो ट्राफिक प्रोग्रामिज प्रो में पठाए हैं सम अफ इट विल स्टेक भाई तो था नहीं थो बी टू बी इज ट्रिकियर अगेन आई थिंक द पैटर्न हियर इज वी आर गोइंग फ्रम अ प्लेस वेयर ब्रांड इज नट नेसेसरी टू अ प्लेस वेयर ब्रांड रियली मैटर्स इफ यू लुक एट द जर्नी है प्रोग्रामिज डट कम ब्रांड इज नट नेसेसरी 
uh, app a little bit brand is necessary youtube brand is almost like big right? mm. uh, even though we can get traffic from uh, youtube seo but still mm. like the face is important right mm. this was if you look at program is b2c someone is going to put their credit card hai na right uh, just for your app so the difference between a mobile app is mobile app man tapai already apple id connect gari sakya huncha credit card sanga you yeah. you don't you just have to double tap and the it's conversion done. is done hai na google ma pani testai huncha hai na so the friction for buying a new app is not so much but if you're selling on the web someone has to enter their credit card just for your platform so there's no like obviously there's a concept of saved credit cards in the browser and all that but still mm-hmm. most people they enter the details so friction chan ta tya ali badi ajai pani so telle garda we had to overcome that friction hai na tya tesko lai ta brand chai ta kinaki when they are at the point of deciding ki i want to check out i want to pay this product i want to pay my dollars if they f- don't trust the brand they are going to put the credit card back in their wallet hai na so mm-hmm. especially of a b2b ma like नाउ प्रोग्राम इज डट कम में तो यूजर डेटा के अब तो हमीसंग मानेह को सेंसिटिव इमेल इवन इमेल इज कंसिडर्ड सेंसिटिव डेटा आजकल है सो सेंसिटिव डेटा कंपनीज को डेटा हो क्रेडिट कार्ड तो हम फाइल में राख्तेन वी वी यूज अ पेमेंट प्रोसेसर पीसीआई कंप्लायस हमें वी डू नट वॉन्ट टू गो गेट इन टू दैट मेस है एनीवेज सो मोर डेटा मोर ट्रस्ट इज निडेड सो तैंतीर गई रह अभी दैट इज द जर्नी दैट वी आर डुइंग सो बीटूबी में झन बीटूसी में जी ट्रस्ट चाहिए बीटूबी में झन बड़ी ट्रस्ट गेन कर इट इज अल्सो चेंज द वे वी डू एसिओ मार्केटिंग यू नो लाइक पैला चाहे ट्राफिक ओरिएंटेड हो मोर कन्वर्जन ओरिएंटेड हो वी डोट रियली केयर मच अबाउट नंबर्स इन टर्म्स अफ टप अफ वन क्या आजकल कन्वर्ट हो कि खुशी हो कि सके खुशी हो सो तो अल बटम अफ द फनल अफ्टर द पर्चेस आर दे हेपी विथ द प्रडक्ट तैंत बड़ी फोकस कर इंट्रेस्टिंग जर्नी क्या लाइक यू यू फिगर आउट अ वे टू मोनेटाइज द ट्राफिक दैट यू हेड एंड बिल्ड प्रोडक्ट अराउंड इट एंड देन टेक इट टू सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड देन नाउ यू क्रिएट मल्टिपल सोर्स अफ इनकम फ्रम द वन सोर्स अफ इनकम दैट यू हेड सो यू मेन्सन अलॉट अबाउट ब्रांडिंग है लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ब्रांडिंग before i get into the branding you have been doing for program is um one thing i have noticed is that you are very active on linkedin and a lot of people know about you because you are active on linkedin but i also know that you are someone who don't who doesn't enjoy to be on social media mm-hmm. right like you are not act so active on all the social media um so that's like conflicting like somebody who doesn't enjoy social media is so active on linkedin Did you intentionally started to brand yourself on LinkedIn or did it happen by by chance? Mm. So w- with the YouTube channel we had already taken that direction in the sense that okay program is needs a face, right? Mm. And it had to be the one of the three founders. Mm. Uh Ranjit did not want to come publicly. Ashwin did not want to come in publicly. So it, it was just me, right? Uh, I think number one thing was that program is needed a face. Mm-hmm. Uh, that people could identify, right? Mm-hmm. Ki okay, this is the person leading it. One of the trust call line again. Mm-hmm. So number one, you already feel by saying that you. Ani, or kuku ro chahi. Obviously, when you run so many uh, like uh, you know projects, then you have you start to form opinions in terms of what went right, what went wrong. I was also very active right from the beginning. I I've been studying the Nepali startup ecosystem for a long time. I right? know in 2015 I started a website called startupsinnepal.com. Uh, I had listed the 50 startups, top 50 startups of that time on that website. So I saw like so many websites disappearing. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, from that list, I right? know yeah. like the downfall or whatever. I mean, I mean, startup ecosystem. My fellow founders and Kura got that got that. You got a pattern or they can tell us again. Then that okay, okay. this guy is doing the right thing or this person is not doing the right thing mane pattern or thing so there was this i felt this need for self expression pani ki i have all these ideas about business i think i need an outlet for that number one thyo ne thyo number two program is like alikati brand pani garnu ban thyo so dui ta sangai garu haina ani i saw that there was uh, so why linkedin nai mm-hmm. why not twitter lot of people said Munit, you should go on Twitter. You should go on Twitter. So, pay is online. Malay Twitter, Twitter one now. So, why aren't you on Twitter? Malay, just keep asking. Hari, Twitter is crowded. There are a way lot more smarter people than me on Twitter. Uh, 
LinkedIn ma unfortunately so it's a content deficit platform only 1% of LinkedIn users post you know so I saw that the opportunity was huge on this platform any orko kuro chai a lot of content on LinkedIn is wishy washy content kya? like yeah. politically correct and, and you know silly stuff you know oh you should drink more water you know <laughs> right to fake motivation thyo, you know mm-hmm. Ani, I just I I just felt that I could add some freshness to it, like brutal honesty ty- type of content. It will resonate when it is assumption. And I think from the kind of engagement I get, uh, I think people are looking for that fresh content. Like, it's a generic content. And I mean, in Nepal, you are learning a Like, generic is bad. Mm-hmm. If you're in every, any communication, generic is bad. We are talking specifics. We are talking specifics. We are talking about the motivation. So, even in motivation, mapani, if you can really go into dig deep into like specific things, it's fun. Mm-hmm. I think maile, mero employees or like, team members or like, managers or like, coach, kar heri, I always watch this. If they start talking in generics, bro, specifics, specifics. Mm-hmm. Know, like, this is not going in the right direction. I know. Get to the point. Uh, get to the point. Be specific. Yeah. Give me numbers. Uh, you are trying to beat around the bush too much. Yeah. And I think it's so sad that communication skills are mm-hmm. uh, It's important. It's very important. And LinkedIn, let's get back to LinkedIn. So I don't think I'm extremely popular on LinkedIn. I don't know why everybody says that. I know. Uh, follower count is not there. No, in but on the tech ecosystem. Mm. I, I don't know about the generic ones, but tech ecosystems, a lot of people know about you. Mm. Yeah, and it's, you have it's helped me. Yeah. Like, I think my uh, my introduction precedes me whenever I, I, I go, a lot of people are like, oh, I want to LinkedIn my followers, or, you know, like, I like your ideas. Mm. And hiring me definitely help us. Uh, because a lot of people remember me when they need a job or, you know, are looking for help. Uh, Flip side, when you the people, a lot of people remember you when they need help. <laughs> I know, so the stickiness uh, goes both ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's good parts, there's bad parts. But there was a time when I was off social media, all of social media for two years, beautiful years. Yeah. And I wish I could go back to those days. But uh, I think it's now a one way street in terms of the way program is growing. Uh, I think I cannot, you know, like go off social media because that would be damaging to the brand. Yeah. Also, I felt that after your face was seen uh, in programmes and also how active you were on LinkedIn, probably that also helped the branding of uh, programmes. And you, your programmes was also started to get mentioned on like really big blogs uh, along with like like big, big, um, brands yep. who were teaching programming. Yep. So that helped. That definitely helped because, you know, uh, someone who's doing research for, okay, look, what are the top 10 programming websites in the world? They are going to look at LinkedIn and they are going to f- look at uh, who are the people behind this. I know. Mm. And it's very, uh, again, you know, I find it very strange that founders in Nepal, uh, there's only two groups of founders, in tech founders in Nepal. One who do over branding mm-hmm. at the expense of the company you know who those people are. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and the other who don't do enough branding. Uh, so the bitchako balance, sunny, where like uh, you build your personal brand, but not at the expense of the company's brand. Right. Like you are very clear that this is my company, right. and I'm and my this is my, me, and both of them are going to go together. Mm. I know. Uh, you cannot be above the company, the and but. So the bit of balance is the question. Yeah. What I felt was like get your product correct and then do branding. Because if your product is not great or your services are not great, and no matter how much branding you do, it will eventually backfire. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and that's I think that's what you mean mean where entrepreneurs overshadow their companies. Or yeah, only, only it's it's just sad Nepal's startup ecosystem, I know. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, we have so much potential. Yeah. Only, NTC, NCLA, 
टोटल थियो पठाओ आयो इन ड्राइवर आयो खाइदियो हैन सो मेनी कम्पनीज अहिले पनि जो अहिले ल हामी ठूलो मान्छे भनेर बसिरा छन् इन्टरनेशनल प्लेयर नआएर मात्रै बाँचे हो के द डे एन इन्टरनेशनल प्लेयर कम्स इन हामी त्यो कोलाप्स भइदिन्छौ के कम्प्लिटली लाइक कम्पिटे गर्न नसक्ने भइदिन्छौ हैन सो देयर इज समथिङ डेफिनेटली रङ ह्यापनिङ हियर हैन सो वी वी रियली नीड टु एज अ स्टार्टअप इकोसिस्टम वी रियली नीड टु डिग डिप इनटु व्हाट्स ह्यापनिङ व्हाई आर वी नॉट एबल टु कम्पिट विथ किनकि हामीसँग त लाइक एउटा एउटा सेन्टिमेन्ट त थियो नि त टुटललाई सपोर्ट गरौँ भने पब्लिक सेन्टिमेन्ट त थियो नि त एनटिसीलाई सपोर्ट गरौँ भने एउटा पब्लिक सेन्टिमेन्ट त छ नि त होइन त्यसलाई क्यापिटलाइज किन गर्न सक्दैनौँ हामी आई स्टिल डोन्ट युज एन्सर दैट्स ग्रुड होइन आई अल्सो डोन्ट वान्ट टु युज नथिङ तर फोजी यस्तो राम्रो छ आई निड इट फर वर्क होइन सो मलाई रिलायबल चाहिन्छ आई हेभ ह्याड एन्सर फर अ लङ टाइम आई एम सो ग्लेड दैट दे केम इन इभन इन ड्राइभर लाइक आई एम ह्यापी दैट इन ड्राइभर केम इन लाइफ कस्तो इजी भएको छ होइन सो कन्ज्युमरको एन्डमा इट्स गुड दैट वी आर गेटिङ द क्वालिटी अफ इन्टरनेसनल एप्स द कन्भिनियन्स अफ युजिङ अल अफ दिज होइन तर मलाई चाहिँ डर लाग्छ मलाई कुनै पनि नेपाली कम्पनी जो नेपालमा मात्र अपरेट गरिरहेको छ डोन्ट बी टू कम्फर्टेबल भन्छ बिकज त्यो तपाईँको ब्रान्ड छैन तपाईँको मार्केटिङ छैन तपाईँले सेल्सबाट मात्रै गर्नुभएको छ भने ग्रो होइन आई स्टिल रिमेम्बर मेरो एकजना दिदी हुनुहुन्थ्यो उहाँको चाहिँ हुनुहुन्छ के अरे हर बिजनेस वाज डुइङ वेल होइन अनि सी यू टू प्राउडली सी क्या कि पुनित मेरो त सबै बिजनेस रेफरलबाट आउँदैछ भनेर भन्नुहुन्थ्यो क्या अनि मैले उहाँलाई त्यो बेला नै भन्थेँ दिदी तपाईँ धेरै कम्फर्टेबल नहुनु इफ अल योर बिजनेस इज कमिङ फ्रम रेफरल्स एन्ड सेल्स यु आर नट डुइङ एनी मार्केटिङ देन यु आर इन अ डेन्जरस प्लेस होइन बिकज राइट नाउ थिङ्स आर गुड वेन थिङ्स गो ब्याड थिङ्स विल रियली गो ब्याड त्यही भयो क्या उहाँको त्यो एउटा वेभ सक्यो त्यो अहिले जुन मान्छेलाई क्रन्च भयो नि क्यास क्रन्च भयो उहाँको बिजनेस एकदमै धरापमा पऱ्यो एकदमै गाह्रो भयो होइन सो मार्केटिङ इज प्रोटेक्सन फ्रम ब्याड लक भन्छु क्या म्या सो लाइक टकिङ अबाउट द मार्केटिङ एन्ड ब्रान्डिङ अगेन यू ह्याभ पुट युअर फेस अन द फेस अफ युअर ब्रान्ड राइट एन्ड लाइक एज अ फाउन्डर and a lot of founder as a co-founder and a lot of big companies don't do that in fact uh, even i have recently started not recently say i've not put into videos but i do through email marketing and other stuff um if you were to give advice to founders to get into branding uh and put themselves you know in front of their brand because i think recently i was reading um that people buy from the people they know right yep. like um I don't know if this will be right context or not but Tesla I think a lot of people buy Tesla because of Elon Musk. Yep. Right? Because he is like a name of innovation and just because it's made by Elon Musk they go for it, right? So what advice would you have for founders and you know young entrepreneurs even those who are you know into this uh, to get into like how to do branding of their companies? Um That's a hard question because um, Programmies has pretty much stayed. Only recently we have, you know, come forward as a company at all. But for a long time, like our DNA is still SEO, you right? know. Mm-hmm. And we are str- struggling to, you know, lay that off and really come forward. And it's a human interaction body work or business. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're still struggling in terms of changing that DNA. Mm-hmm. Like I wish all of my... team would also start doing that and so the dna change gonna gara so we're still a company that's behind the screen mm-hmm. with my face popping out you know <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's a risk nick because yeah. whole company is branding depending on one person is is risk you know yeah. so te bistare change garnu cha um advice nai dinna lai chai i think biggest advice should be मेरे लिंकडिन में मैं के फायदा भाषा इट्स नट जस्ट द इंगेजमेंट आई गेट इट्स नट जस्ट द कमेंट्स आई गेट इट्स द फिडबैक आई गेट अन माई राइटिंग है लिंकडिन में मानी इंप्रेसन्स हे है आई गिव दम द फिडबैक दैट लुक एट फलोअर इंप्रेसन टू फलोअर रेसिओ वट आई मीन बाई दैट इज तब को टू थाउजेंड फलोअर्स अनी पोस्ट गेट्स फाइव थाउजेंड इंप्रेसन्स वट इज दैट मीन दैट मीन्स द कंटेन्ट वॉज गुड इट वेन्ट आउट साइड युअर फलोअर नेटवर्क Mm-hmm. do you see what i mean yeah and if uh, so that means if you have so it's not about followers it's about impressions per follower ratio you know yeah. uh, i look at that metric always when i post content ki did my did this content go outside of my follower network if the quality is good it will go outside 
if the quality is not good it will stay inside my followers network and yeah i have given this feedback to a lot of people everybody has come back to me and said i started following this and it changed my linkedin one and two nice so such a simple formula you know nice uh in general pani i feel like going from a website where traffic was money to where people putting in the credit cards is money i think it's not about the number of people who visit your shop it's about how much they buy yeah. you know, after they come सो मेरे पर्सपेक्टिव चाहे चेंज होते क्या मोर अब लार्ज टिकट कर मैं तो अब यूनिवर्सिटीज बेच् बुट कैंप्स बेच् गवर्नमेंट इवन बेच् प्रोग्राम है सो अब अब बिग टिकट तीर जानू अमिंग बैक टू योर ओरिजिनल क्वेश्चन आई ड्रिफ्टेड अफ अलिक फाउंडर्स सो टेक ट्विटर इंस्टाग्राम व्हाट एवर प्लेटफॉर्म यू चूज टिकटक है एज अ प्लेस टू गेट क्वि वेरी क्विक फिडबैक अन मेसेजिंग and the your ability to create content you know what do you mean by quick quick on messaging messaging bhaneko mm-hmm. jasto whenever i write something uh, engagement bada ani to comments bada mala tha huncha ta ani bistare 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 mero euta like i can't put it on paper but i know what format works on linkedin bhane mala tha bhai sakyo ta what content my followers are looking for bhanera tyo ta maile tyo post regularly nagari gana ta mala tha paudina ta tyo bhayo ani i think त्यो कंटेन्ट लेख्दा 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 लाइक राइट नाउ इवन राइट नाउ आई एम लाइक आफे वर्ड्स आइरा छ नि बिकज आई हैव बीन प्रैक्टिस टु जिम ओके एउटा लिंक्डइन ट्विटर व्हाटएवर दोस प्लेटफर्म्स आरो मेंटल जिम पनि के किन कि तपाईले त्यो सेल्फ एक्सप्रेशन गर्ने बानी भइरा छ रेगुलरली रिटर्न फर्म मा अनि व्हेन यू हैव टु राइट समथिंग एल्स द फ्लो कम्स ऑटोमेटिकली सो त्यो रेगुलरली जिम गा जस्तै हो अनि आई थिंक पीपल मोर पीपल शुड स्टार्ट डूइंग दिस अनि स्पेशली राइटिङ इज द मोस्ट पावरफुल मिडियम जस्तो लाग्छ के अहिले पनि uh you can influence so many people through your writing you know aile pani uh i love writing they mala chai ani i think uh, founders who don't write uh i see that as a problem like write or whatever tiktok whatever like if you're not doing any self expression you know mm-hmm. uh, i think you're bottling up a lot of things inside you so it's not even about about timle jun bhane ni what should like company ko like ganu do it for yourself don't just do it for the company i think Uh, you should express yourself i think it's important for everyone i i've noticed that you enjoy writing but you also enjoy reading and giving books to people we'll talk about that later on but before we get into that i want to talk about um other ventures that you are part of um so programming uh, program is is one uh, it is l- pretty big at the same time you are part of redoc nepal and you had mentioned earlier when you had got that acquisition offer um you i joined redoc video redoc as a software video, right engineer, yeah. and then uh, you were also part of techcraft yep. you know which is in the last 2 years they have grown exponentially and i think they are more, more than 100 employees yep. right It's like crazy growth let's talk about uh, redoct um, video when you started redoct video um what is your initial thought like you said earlier that you know programming programmers was getting uh, an offer acquisition offer and then you decided to get into that but it's also like tough call to make because now from a co-founder you're going to be an employee for another yeah. company right and what motivated you to do that yeah so even uh, i think it's about uh, you know this co-founder and employee difference is uh, doesn't really matter like it's all about how much agency you have mm-hmm. in your work agency meaning how much freedom you have in your work you know and i think uh, pravas dai uh, the founder of redoc video was someone i wanted to work with so sometimes someone makes you a, an offer that you cannot refuse you know yeah. so it was that kind of an offer godfather uh yeah so i think the opportunity to work with him and mm-hmm. that too you know in a silicon valley startup right mm-hmm. so uh, i wanted to see the pace mm-hmm. at which silicon valley operates so that was one of the primary reasons uh, and uh, after 6 months they got funding they were able to hire people in, in silicon valley uh the problem was i was waking up at 2 am in the morning coding till 6 going for my mba classes mm. again coding the whole day so it was you know getting taxing for them and me as well and it did not make sense to continue so but they still wanted to work with me because you know they saw my dedication and all that so they said punit uh, we need a transcription company you set it up for uh, for us in nepal so transcription company banaya i built all the tech ekle hai na tesko shuru ma chai initial days ko तेस पच्ची एआई ले ट्रांसक्रिप्शन खाई दियो अनि ऑयले आई एम डूइंग ग्रोथ फॉर देम मार्केटिंग पीपीसी एसईओ इता होती है ना सो इट्स अ स्ट्रेंज वर्ल्ड आई थिंक मेरो बिगेस्ट स्ट्रेंथ नहीं ते हो आई एम एबल टू पिवर्ट 
mm. into whatever is required you know mm. uh, i think a lot of companies in the place that redox nepal was when the ai transcription got really good they would have just closed down like i think it it's kudos to my team as well you know it's mm. it's my favorite team uh, sorry program is <laughs> <laughs> but it's really redox nepal is my home i yeah. feel that is the place i want to go every day uh, and you know it's just so chill it's so much fun the people are so much fun and there's so much uh, good vibes at redox yeah so the 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 pipeline was pretty amazing because when you know an industry is like face a challenge like you faced with the ai um instead of shutting it down you pivoted to marketing agency right yep. now we'll get into we'll talk about that but before we talk about that i want to know what was your experience like working with the silicon valley uh because in nepal like we have a very different culture and silicon valley is one of the like tech hub in the world yep. so what difference did you find so crazy net here like the sheer pace at which they move you know and especially i told you like 3 years the himal khase code gareko thina ta and suddenly i had to move at silicon valley pace you know the code base here that i still remember like what the hell is this one you know mala the k time the garo ba the mala ekdam personally like cuz es huncha ta yaha ta nepal ma ta hamle garda khari anand le garthyo ni ta त्यहाँ त एभ्री विक तिमीलाई केही लाइक डेलिभरेबल चाहियो क्या कंक्रिट डेलिभरेबल होइन अनि द पेस वाज जस्ट क्रेजी अनि आई थिंक व्हाट वाज डिफरेंट वाज द पेस एट विच दे वर टेकिंग कस्टमर फिडब्याक एन्ड रिस्पोंडिंग टु दैट फिडब्याक क्या नेपालमा चाहिँ फाउन्डर्सहरूले एकदम आइसोलेसनमा प्रडक्ट बिल्ड गर्छन् नि त फाउन्डर्सहरूले खासै सेल्स गर्दै गर्दैन सुरुमा होइन उनीहरूको त लाइक डे टू लिटरली डे टू दे बिल्ड द प्रडक्ट इन अ गराज त्यो classic silicon oh. valley story oh. they built it in a garage and they showed it to the customer and they built the product with the customer okay? mm. i know one of our customers was like a big organization in the us uh, they were design agency they were the founders of design thinking by the way they were ido you know so wow. they were working with ido you know so from day to you're working with the customer that was crazy to me and you know? i think i learned so many so many lessons on how what it means to be a founder of a tech company and scale it uh but obviously i was more in the coding side but i i used to watch everything obviously mm. the conversations on slack it out there na and it's just insane how customer centric the company is yeah. it's just insane like uh code wise the obviously i was facing a tough time but like every requirement came from the customer okay? it was not like you know i want to build this and you know like 6 mahina ma dungeon ma bassu ani build garchu ani tespachi ma marketing shuru garchu sales shuru garchu ani product marketing sales everything like the wala the marketing the the hunthena sales nai badhe the so product marketing product marketing product sorry marketing and product sales customer support product sales customer support all having being done in parallel okay tyo tyo experience ekdam mera unique thyo yeah and and they were they were being done by pravas thai and and Ra- the co-founder rob right like two people initially Just two people. right yeah. they were doing sales they were doing development yeah. they were doing marketing and everything yeah, everything right? yeah because and I remember you telling me that the the pace at which they were doing the development was crazy. Um and I I've, I've had this conversation with a lot of people who have work with companies outside and they say that the the pace at which we operate in Nepal and the pace at which um people operate outside mm-hmm. um they're very different. Like is it like have you experienced that just in let's say Uh, silicon valley or have you exp- had similar experience anywhere else mm, i can only speak for redux video and program is and mm. techraft for example i can compare the, these three companies i know mm. and i think um program is moves fast in some ways mm-hmm. uh, but overall the the pace at which redux moves uh, the us team moves is crazy i think त्यहाँ चाहिँ एकदम दसजना मात्र टिम सो वी हेभ बिन टेन पिपल फर अ लङ टाइम सम पिपल कम सम पिपल लिभ बट वी बिन टेन पिपल फर अ लङ टाइम होइन अराउन्ड टेन होइन तर लाइक फ्रम फ्रन्ट एन्ड टु मसिन लर्निङ टु डेटा बेस टु डेभ अप्स एभ्रिबडी डज एभ्रिथिङ इनफ्याक्ट आफ्टर अ टाइम लाइक वी लेट गो अफ द सेल्स टिम एन्ड आवर इन्जिनियर्स एन्ड आवर डिजाइनर एभ्रिबडी डज सेल्स नाउ सो वी इमेजिन अ वर्क फोर्स अफ टेन पिपल लाइक दे आर दे आर नट टेन team there are 10 founders okay welcome to the startup <laughs> there are 10 founders literally yeah. there are 10 founders with the same energy as the founders mm. imagine that in nepal impossible i think 
uh, a lot of people in Nepal join a startup and, and it's unfair to people as well to expect mm-hmm. the same level in because yeah. your background your education the society ab yahan to tapai lai ke re alli rati sam kaam garnu paryo ni baba mali ke garirako bhanna thalcha na or even night even safety ko kura hai jasto mano okay let's say we want to build the next bangalore hai na 8 baje pachi market sunsan huncha public bus paindaina hai na so government le ke environment create gardira cha hai na so वर्सेस अस्त म फिलिपिन्स जी लाइक एवरीथिंग इज ओपन एट नाइट सो ते आईटी पार्क बनाईदे मैसिव है एवरीथिंग इज ओपन अल नाइट अनि पो हो पब्लिक लाइक देर आर स्पेसिफिक राउट्स दैट गो दैट अपरेट टू द आईटी पार्क अल नाइट सो इट हेज टू स्टार्ट विथ द पब्लिक इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर जस्ट लग हेविंग सर दैट एकदम अब अनफेयर कंपेरिजन हो नंबर वन दैट्स वोट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से है यू कैनट कंपेयर अ कंपनी देयर एंड कंपनी हियर मैन पावर हम यहाँ को गवर्नमेंट इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर यहाँ को वी हेव टू लिव विद इन द कंस्टेंट्स अफ नेपाल तर वी स्टिल नीड टू एस्पायर टू बी द वेयर दे आर लाइक नट इन टर्म्स अफ नट एवरीथिंग इन सिलिकन वैली इज गुड है बट एटलिस्ट अलग पेस बढ़ा पर्ने अलग इंसपायर चाहिए इन टर्म्स अफ इन टर्म्स अफ बोथ थिंग्स हाई नट जस्ट इन टर्म्स अफ द पेस एट विच वी बिल्ड टेक्नोलॉजी but also the pace at which we uh, bring the customer into the equation yeah i think the second one being more important than the first one yeah i, I can share one experience that i had uh, very similar where you have a product and you interact with the customer get feedback and then build on the feedback that customer has provided so one of our product of which you know dollar p travel engine yeah. right so that so that's right now the leading uh, travel booking plugin in the world and more than 10,000 travel agency around the world are using it. Uh, when I initially conceptualized this um, through my experience of working with travel agencies, um, so we built that product. But later on, I, we had this uh, support um, feature request feature on the website, and people would come and request a feature. Uh, but we're not moving at a high pace, and also we're not getting a lot of feedback that we wanted to, right? Because If you build product for your customer, then it is going to be a good product. People are going to buy it. So two things happens in my case. First was that we had email automations. So whenever somebody downloaded a product, they would get an email. Uh, so let's say welcome to Dolby Travel Engine, and we would send another email asking if they have any problem, if they have any questions, uh, or even they deactivated the plugin. You would ask them question like, okay, you have deactivated the plugin. What is the reason? Right. Uh, what we could have done better. So that worked for us. We, I started to get feedback like that. But the best thing happened for user feedback was we created a community on Facebook, mm-hmm. and uh, we had on our website like join our Facebook community, and people join there and they have like feature request after feature request. Oh, wow. Give me this. Give me that. So, and because of that, we started to realize okay, these are the things that people need and we have not built the first. So we had more feature request. Second. the team realized that oh there are so many things we need to do we need to move at higher pace yeah. right so even our team felt that urgency and started to build things very rapidly right we also added more resources and you know it's also the feedback that like okay a customer asked for something we delivered in 2 weeks and then you go back to the customer and share that feedback with the team that oh you solved someone's problem right so yeah. it's also linked to motivation it does and also like when you solve a problem or you add a feature you know ask for reviews they would give the reviews yeah. right and the best thing in, in this experience was that you are building something that is going to be used by people like often at times we build things and we build with assumptions we think that oh people are going to use yeah. this but they will not right and that happens a lot in the software development yeah right. and um, so i told you right the founder has to be involved in the constraint yeah uh right now the constraint in all my companies is project management mm. uh i feel that project management does not get the attention it deserves in general mm. and i've been geeking out over agile and you know how to manage people mm. and uh yeah and and i'm learning a lot i think uh, i think uh, there comes a time when uh focus mm-hmm. and, and how to manage this okay we have 10 feature requests yeah. from customers we have 10 things we want to build but we only have uh, five people on the product team right so this co management say 
सिक्नु पर्ने रहेछ अब बल्ल मलाई रियलाइज भइरहेछ हैन त्यसको म्यानेज राम्रो गर्यो भने चाहिँ त्यो प्रायोरिटाइजेसन छ नि त्यो प्रायोरिटाइजेसन कसरी गर्ने आई थिंक आई आई रिटर्न अनदर लिंक्ड इन पोस्ट ऑन दिस एज वेल लाइक लीडरशिप इज प्रायोरिटाइजेसन हैन एज अ लीडर योर प्राइमरी जॉब इज टु प्रायोरिटाइज हैन सो त्यो त्यो तर त्यो प्रायोरिटाइजेसन टेक कम्पनी अर प्रडक्ट कम्पनीको कन्टेक्स्टमा त त्यसलाई फेसिलिटेट गर्नलाई त एजाइल बनेको हो नि त होइन सो अहिले चाहिँ आई एम डुइङ अ लट अफ एक्सपेरिमेन्ट्स इन माई कम्पनीज विथ एजाइल अनि आई थिङ्क दिस इज द नेक्स्ट थिङ लाइक सेल्स र एजाइल प्रोजेक्ट म्यानेजमेन्ट अहिले दुईटा चाहिँ म अहिले एकदम दुईटै प्यारलमा सँगै सिक्दैछु सेल्समा पनि एजाइल कति काम लाग्ने रहेछ क्या सो राइट नाउ लाइक आई एम आई एम इन लभ विथ द फ्याक्ट द्याट देर देर आर फ्रेमवर्क्स यू क्यान कपी होइन अर देर आर फर्मुलाज द्याट यू क्यान युज टु बेटर हेन्डल दिस टफ क्या जुन तिमीले प्रब्लम भन्यौ नि कि देर आर सो मेनी फिचर रिक्वेस्ट्स एन्ड वी क्यान ओन्ली डू फ्यू हाउ डू यू ओके विच वन डू यू डू वेन यू हेभ फाइभ अप्सन्स त्यो फ्रेमवर्क चाहिँ अहिले म सिक्दैछु एन्ड वन थिङ अल्सो आई रियलाइज विथ दिस वज द्याट वेन यू रेस्पोन्ड एज अ फाउन्डर वे यू इन्गेज पिपल फिल मोर कन्फिडेन्स and and oh, with the customers yeah, yeah definitely yeah, yeah. Yeah. so as you were working on reduct video uh, it went through a big transition right mm-hmm. a big pivot um what was the number of people you had um before you pivoted into marketing so we had one including the full time staff and contractors we had about 140 people right we had gone up to well, like 140 150 that's crazy Yeah, yeah we ran a huge operation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you were doing this at at the time you were also doing programming. Yeah. 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 And how did you feel when AI came take uh, you know took over the market share or even mm-hmm. like killed in a way. And you had to pivot to something else. Mm-hmm. Like what was that phase like? How did you convince yourself and your team to go through that? Mm, I think it was a natural progress. We we knew that this was going to happen, but we just were not prepared for the pace at which happened. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we were kind of mentally prepared mm-hmm. in the sense that this is not going to exist in the two th- next two three years. We're going to pivot, and the pivot had already started in a sense that we had built the Redux video website. Uh, you know, they had designed it, but we had built it. Uh, the tech part. so we were helping them out with the publishing of blogs so small things had already started mm-hmm. and uh, pravas and rob knew that i was also running program is you know i understood marketing i understood how to get organic traffic so they so the social proof was already there that mm-hmm. i can do this one you know so yeah i think they gave me the opportunity there was a very tight deadline that i had, uh, that i had to get a certain number of sign ups in a limited time Uh, and i it was tihar so mm-hmm. i called my f- whole team to a cafe and said guys <laughs> this is it like this is we need to do this and we did it you know and mm-hmm. and we sh- initially the progress was slow then first we started with ppc mm-hmm. ads google ads and then because seo ppc obviously you can't always keep paying money so we went in, into seo and now we're at a point where uh, we are writing content you know today it's ranking in a month mm. and it's that's bringing conversions yes. yeah, and it's bringing conversions you know so uh, i think the team has shown and we are growing again so we are the f- the contractors uh, shrinked a little bit but you know they are contractors so they work on demand so yeah. uh, we do not have to shrink that size too much but the full time employees has had shrinked now we are again at 13 14 people mm. and this agency model has really worked right the results that we got for redux video mm. are amazing uh, so we are accepting more customers now and we are very specific we are not going to work we are only going going to work with brands that have a global audience and we are only going to do saas nice. uh, so we, i think my experience you know with program is with reduct uh, i think it's given me a good context of what it takes to take a saas product and bring it to customers nice so while you were also working on programmies and redux video you started techcraft mm-hmm. right yeah. with a uh, several business partner yeah how do you get into that and tell me like what 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 are the reasons how 
uh, for the reasons why Techcraft has grown exponentially. And right now in the, I think, um, tech health ecosystem, it is yeah. probably US top healthcare, three. Yeah. Top three. Um, you can say that, yeah. but like pretty big. Uh, you need to see more metrics. It's okay. like, you know, in one metric, we might be top three. In another metric, we... Yeah. But in terms of a wave, you know, like creating a a wave in the ripple in the ecosystem, yeah. definitely Techcraft has done something yeah. amazing. So tell me about the growth. Like, how did it happen? Sure. Um, first of all, you know, because I was running Redoct and Techcraft at the uh, program is at the same time, I sort of have had the license to, you know, start one more, right? Because... <laughs> <laughs> When you go from one business to two, that's the hardest part to convince your co-founders. Mm -hmm. In my case, it happened accidentally, but it's a difficult conversation, right? Today, mm -hmm. you go to your co-founders and say, okay, I'm going to start another business with another set of mm -hmm. founders. It's, it's never going to be an easy decision. But because I was already running two, you know, it's given me the license of three, four, five, six, seven with multiple co-founders. Mm -hmm. uh, so once that, that, you know, why was it not hard for me to start another one? It's a branding issue as well, right? Because uh, uh, should people remember me for program is or Reduct or Techcraft? So the more companies I start, the more diluted my person, my brand becomes, mm -hmm. or at least my association with program is becomes. So it's a risk in that sense, and that's why I even though Reduct Nepal, as I mentioned, it's very close to me. I I don't mention too much about it on social media or or you know when I'm uh, publicly speaking. Because I want to, uh, publicly, I want to be associated with programmies because programmies needs, programmies and me, you know, we need each other's brand in terms of, okay, the first, uh, as soon as people look at me, they should say programmies uh, and, or programmies and Punita, you know, so mm -hmm. that's going really well. Uh, Techcraft, uh, at least my vision was very clear. Uh, Nepal, my outsourcing companies are Umri, Dere, Yoda Point, Batsit, Mata Chiao, just Umri, so cafe, you know. 10 people, 20 people, 30 people, 100 people. But in the scale of India, there outsourcing uh, like TCS, Infosys. Nepal. We had a meetup called Tech Tuesday where we used to discuss all these topics in Nepal. Why grow? Why grow? Why Grow by it, like to massive scale, my or a flagship company, I know Nepal border. Mm -hmm. I know just the TCS, Infosys, Zoho, India, co like flagship companies or so this to Kunibani. I know, and in Oric this month is the flagship company with the Risha. Malaysia go grab by Indonesia go gojek by Philippines go San Miguel by like there's a company that really takes the comp identity, carries the identity of the whole country. Right? Nepal border is the tech company Kunibani. I know. Mm -hmm. And we started thinking, you know, why don't we create that company? So we were founders of IT companies. We said, uh, let's come together and start a massive IT company. So we also looked at, okay, what are the formulas? Then what was missing? Mm -hmm. Why were other IT outsourcing companies not able to do it? Number one, Nepal ko low ranking in cybersecurity index. Like nobody's going to send data to Nepal. We were, the evidence showed otherwise, like Nepal ko... Uh, cybersecurity index iti low cha. why are there so many US healthcare companies in Nepal mm -hmm. so you know like the outside perception perception is something but the real data is something and number one we knew that it was possible you know just that uh, a lot of work needed to be done or ko chai, all, the outsourcing companies tech outsourcing companies in Nepal uh, they did not engage too much with the community and that's why after a certain time they did not do branding so after some time, they struggled with hiring and they were not able to hire the best people. So uh, so community and brand building were going to start from day one. Mm -hmm. you know, content was going to start from day one. So we had a dream that we are going to create the next TCS or Infosys from Nepal. And I think because the dream was so good, it propelled everything in the right direction. Uh, right now we are, so if you ask what Techcraft is, Techcraft is a, a tech outsourcing company that works in high compliance domains like fintech and uh, US healthcare. And I think that uh, leaves out a lot of the competition, right? Yeah. Because we are in a very small niche. If Don't come to us if you need a website. Come to us if you need a product where the data privacy requirements, the data security requirements are really high mm -hmm. because we have the infrastructure, the manpower to be able to do it. Yeah, but apart from like, first of all, congratulations on even Techcraft uh, because 
we have so many mutual friends uh, in TechCraft and mm-hmm. the growth that I've seen, very, very close growth. Yep. Uh, it's just amazing. And I hope that you guys grow a lot, lot bigger in the coming days. We will, we will. Uh, yeah. So apart from like these three companies, I know that you are part of other companies as well. In one, we are also business partner, right? Mm-hmm. Um, how do you manage your time? Like, how do you prioritize? And especially working with like different partners, you know, mm-hmm. like very different pa- partners. How do you manage these things? I journal every day. So uh, there's a concept called, there's a technique called bullet journaling. Uh, where I think I told you about yeah, it. Yeah, you told yeah. me about it. But I modified it. So yeah. I did not do the weekly and the monthly and all that stuff. I just do daily. Mm. So in the morning, every day, uh, I have a ritual where I list down all my tasks across companies. It could be personal, professional, whatever. And you know that whole process of just writing down everything is so simple, right? If there's conflict, I know in the morning at 7. So I, I am a morning person. I wake up at 7. Or I wake up at 6. I'm ready to work by 7. I know. So uh, it takes 15 minutes to do the initial list, task list. And if there's any conflict in time, for example, I need to be in two places, I know immediately. right? I also write down the calendar events for the day over there. Or Kokuro, immediately, as soon as I know, I look at the task list, I know... Uh, which are compulsory. For example, this these are unmovable. If I need to be at somewhere at 11, then I need to be there at 11. I know. For that, I need to leave at 10. So, plus, minus half an hour, one hour, depending on the distance. So, uh, if there's a conflict, I can reschedule it. So, I think that it's um, it makes me more professional in the sense that, you know, I am not... Uh, I'm a, and, a lo- and it's a huge problem in Nepal, right? People will cancel at the last moment. So I'll always cancel before if there's something I cannot do, number one. I know. Number two, as soon as I look at the task list for the day, I know which office needs my time the most. Uh, and depending on that, I, I will prioritize my tasks. So yeah, I think it's all about uh, getting into good habits of journaling and ruthless prioritization. Prioritization, prioritization, prioritization. I think that's that's nice. Um, one last thing that I want to talk about is your passion for reading. Mm-hmm. Like, I know that you give books to a lot of people. You have given me several books. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm reading one of those uh, books. Um, what kind of book, like as a founder, as as an entrepreneur, um, what kind of books are you into? And why do you read so much? Mm-hmm. How has it benefited you? I think one of the reasons I started... So I started reading in college. I used to read a lot of fiction then. And then uh, after coming to Nepal, I did not read a lot. But, you know, because I didn't have money to buy books, obviously. (laughs) In the early days of my career, you know, things were tough. Uh, Once, you know, the finances became better, uh, programming started making money, all of that. Then I had the resources to start buying books again. So I started buying random books in the beginning. I did not have much of a choice. But then um, slowly I started realizing and one of the primary reasons, I, I read a lot of business books. One of the primary reasons being uh, the Nepali ecosystem, startup ecosystem is still young. There are very few people I can talk to who will dream big and talk about, you know, nobody has done SaaS before, right? Mm-hmm. Nobody has done, very few, very few people yeah. have done uh, business at the scale that, we are doing at program is maybe local business by revenue you know uh, all the group business groups are doing like much bigger revenue but in terms of going from nepal to the world so all the businesses in nepal are from the world to nepal right mm-hmm. <laughs> if you look at all the business houses and and the problem with that with this import based economy is for example someone is importing detol sabun you know so the ready-made product Nepal ma import kare on ta. Usle tisko the product ra marketing ko mix to erne pora hai sena pricing matra erio sakyo distribution matra erio sena. Which is in itself a hard job. It's not. I'm not saying it's easy, you know. Tar apni the huge part of the product building process is missing. Yeah. And the muscles are missing. And tere ko I don't find a lot of people who I can talk about product. Ani that I think books fill that gap in my life where you know I can read about. Founders who created billion dollar companies and their thoughts and opinions and their stories. So I feel like uh, reading books makes me a global citizen. I 
uh, I'm no longer an Eplis founder, right? So because I ha- now have access to ideas from people all over the world. So I think that is the primary motivation. Another is I love reading uh, reading books. I think uh, I think reading books is the best way to pass your time, at least for me. Uh, it takes a lot of time to finish a book. So you know, in terms of the sheer volume of time you can engage yourself while reading a book is huge. Another is now books have become very accessible in Nepal. Poyle cha books are paunde paunthe na Nepal ma. Poyle cha pilgrims ekta anu you know uh, wisdom. So everybody knows me. Everybody loves me <laughs> because as soon as I enter, they know I'm going to buy a shitload of books and give them a lot of business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I just tra- uh, and and every time I feel stuck in life, mm. I think the I also love the experience of going in a bookstore and finding the perfect books for me. So you know, it's it's a very holistic experience. It's it's meditation for me. Now the second part of why I give away a lot of books, why I distribute a lot of books, uh, I want to create a reading culture in Nepal. Uh, it's my dream. In fact, my dream project is like a huge building, uh, you know, with lots of greenery inside and outside, with a cafe at the bottom and a huge library in the middle and a hacker house in the you know co-working space. So. I think uh, the pieces of a good tech community are there in Nepal, which is learning, uh, you know, event space, uh, cafes, but they are all separate. Yeah, you know, the cafe is separate, event space is separate, uh, art is separate, tech is separate. We need to bring all of this together, and I think, uh, yeah, going back to why I give away books, I think it's. Sometimes I just talk to someone and, 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 you know, I listen to their problems. I know that this certain book will help them. So uh, I feel that it's a good gift to give to people. And I think if more people take inspiration and start doing it. Uh, I wish somebody give, gifted me books when uh, I was in an earlier stage of entrepreneurship when I was naive. So if those books travel... And someone told me very nice, like, books need to travel too, right? Yeah. So... In fact, there's a very interesting uh, anecdote. So we were mulling uh, that that whether we should start a library at Redok Nepal, right? And the HR people said that we will... Uh, as we, I ordered a... So I took my personal library. I donated it to the company. All of my books. Mm-hmm. It was like 100, 150 books. And the uh, HR people started turning it into a library, proper library with, you know, the sheets on the back and the tracking and an Excel sheet and all that. And we had a huge uh, debate about it. I said, no tracking, anybody can take books home. And they said, no, we need to know who is taking which book, right? And uh, the debate still rages on. We still have the old system. But when I started up uh, library in program is, I said, no, no tracking right from the beginning. Because, you know, this whole experience of picking up a book and having no friction in taking it home, yeah. right? I think that's important. Uh, I think not everything has to be about making money. Uh, and there's a library in each company of mine. So Techcraft has a library as well, mm. which I've donated personally. It's not Techcraft money, it's my money. Programmies is all my books. I add a lot of books personally to Redux Nepal. And I think that's my sort of, you know, if you're in a if you're in Puneet's company, there will be books. Yeah, we we are also setting up a library in our company. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure you know or not, but I also buy extensive amount of books. Mm-hmm. Uh, once I bought fifty books. <laughs> no, I don't like your collection. <laughs> like we are miles apart in terms of what we like. Exactly, exactly. But I think uh, I I would say that you know, both of us are very curious about learning things mm-hmm. and want to you know, grasp a lot of information and learn and implement those things. I also started listening to a lot of podcasts on Spotify. I think um, whenever there's a topic that I want to go really deep into mm-hmm. and a topic that I don't, I feel that I don't understand. For mm-hmm. example, when I had to go into B2B sales, uh, cybersecurity, you know, like in every phase of life, whenever I need to go deep into a new topic, I, I always go for podcast because... Uh, the founders of great companies, they usually don't have the time to write books or write blogs or or create YouTube videos, right? So all of these public platforms, 
the average or above average creator is creating the content but if you look at podcast you know the top people the most successful people they can always spare one or two hours for a podcast so i am getting information from the top source not from the average source right so what i'll do is i'll whenever there's any topic i will order a lot of books for that topic i'll find i'll create a small library i will also listen to podcast and sort of combine the academic and the experiential information and use that in my business and my personal life so i think uh, and there are a lot of people who don't learn that way a lot of people like reading blogs newsletters everybody has their own style yeah. uh, a lot of people like uh, uh, learning from the news for example right. i don't follow the news so i think it's all about finding your style and what works for you yeah but the gist is that you got to keep learning and improving yeah definitely yeah. Yeah. Thank you Puneet I hope that uh, the dream will come very true very soon and I hope we'll also c- together maybe create the cafe and the whole <laughs> ecosystem that we talked about Yeah yeah we should definitely do that <laughs> Yeah um last thing um since I'm starting this podcast and this is the second episode do you have any advice for me as a friend Oh my god why do you keep asking this man I hate this about you <laughs> Like it's so point blank always uh, we'll be sitting at a cafe randomly and Puneet what do you had what advice do you have for me and my business like <laughs> okay <laughs> uh i think i love the setup mhm i love that uh, you have the right person managing it and thanks to anup yeah and, and you know uh, i mentioned before as well right uh, i think nepal ma chai yo startup related conversations chai hudaina haina uh bragging huncha mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of bragging i got this award that award hamro award ko kami chaina hamro desh ma haina i think uh honest conversation ko kami cha which uh, you are fulfilling, fulfilling a gap in the market hopefully and the fact that you don't need to monetize this podcast is great haina agi pan discussion bhai rathyo i think whenever uh, there's a pressure to monetize it becomes hard to maintain garna lai and because you're doing this for yourself uh i think that is a good start and let's hope 10 seasons <laughs> they all the best thank and you and feedback personal feedback oh god you have always put me in this space ke chaina aile i think you're doing good i think uh, there was a time when uh, i felt that you you were you know uh, in a difficult place personally and professionally i think you've overcome we know the incident that mm-hmm. happened right so uh with rishi and all that but i think after that you have co- i think you've completely changed after what happened uh and i think you uh, st- keep being ru- as you know like consistent as you've been you never gave up on that mm-hmm. I-, i was like dude give up let it go you know but i think uh, that is your biggest quality of not letting go uh, of something when you're passionate about it they continue karo aur to ki advice hai all the multi like kaise kon ne wala se kon Thank you so much Puneet. Thank you. I hope you had a good experience here. Yeah, it was fun. Thanks so much.